Hey, how you guys doing? This is Josh from Keep It Techie. And uh, today I wanted to go over a program that I love. I super, super love. It's called Beats. Uh, B-E-E-T-S. And it's a music organizer. Um, it catalogs all your, your music collection. You know what I'm saying? It fixes metadata. Uh, it has a bunch of plugins for it, you know, to check for duplicates and all that good stuff most guys look for in programs like this. But um, anyway, this one is real good. It uses the Music Brain database. If you don't know what that is, it's a big database uh, hosted on the web that anybody can connect to to get music data from. Um, you know, as far as the file names, all that, all that good stuff. Um, but anyway, I love this program, so I'm I'm really excited to show you guys how it works. Uh, uh, it can be installed on Windows, Mac OS, and uh, of course Linux. Um, so let's let's dive into it. All right. So the first thing first thing we need to do is install it. So you just go. Uh, uh, I'll just show you how to install it on Ubuntu. It's basically sudo app install beats. Okay, yeah. And just press enter. It'll go through, ask for the password, you know, install and all that stuff. So it's pretty easy on, uh, on Ubuntu. Um, so uh, I'm using Antigos. So I'll show you on there. And of course, he uses the Pac-Man package manager. So it's a uh, sudo pacman uh, dash s um, beats. Uh, if I can only spell. Uh, enter. Same process. Uh, Sit yes. Install. Uh, all the dependencies are already installed because I. Um, I installed this once on here one time, just messing around with it and, and then deleted it. Um, so the dependencies were already there, but it'll take slightly longer to install uh, because of all the dependencies. So uh, so that's pretty much it on installing it. So the next thing you wanna do is uh, configure it. So let's go and uh, let's type in this command. Once it's installed, you can type in commands for beats now. Um, because right now it doesn't have a configuration file, but the program is still installed. So you can run a few commands like beats. And the one, yeah, the one you want to first in uh, run is beats config um, dash p. And that will show you the location where the configuration file should be. So it's uh, under, it should be under dot config beats. And then the name of it should be configure uh, YAML. Uh, so let's go to that location and create the config file. So we can go CD beats. Let's go that. And then uh, there is a, um, a command you could type in. I think it's called it's beat uh, config. Uh, dash E that will allow you to edit the config file it'll create it for you um, using a beast program but I like nano just my text editor that's the one I like or whatever uh, I've been using that since God knows when uh, but that's the text editor I want to use so see beats uh, we can type out the name of the config file and bam all right cool so the first thing is to set up the directory uh, you go directory um, and just show you what it what I'm doing music so what I like to do is create two folders um, and I've already created them for this little exercise um, a folder for the new the new location for the music to be moved to and and this this is obviously my old music so I put it all in there and then this is a folder other folder that I create called new music DB 
And so, um, the directory where you want the music moved to is new music. So, let's add that in there. Uh, let's go music slash new underscore music. So that's the location I want to put. I want to put the files after I after they go through the whole beats process, modifying the files and all that. Uh, and then the next thing is the library, which that is the location of the database that uh, holds the metadata and all that uh, when it's uh, modifying the files. Uh, and it also keeps a track of the file locations once you move it. So, see, bam. So let's go music. Um, see new music DB and then you you have to uh, specify the uh, database name so we can name it a uh, new library that BLB, I think that's what it is yeah yeah BLB uh, that's the database format all right and then the next thing you want to do is um, give it some import options so um, let's go let's type in import and like I said this configuration file is super easy uh, to add the plugins because you add all the plugins all that in here in this configuration file and it controls it as you run through uh, you can specify folder options you know all that all that right into the in this configuration file so um, normally what I do is I put move sorry I normally put move uh, no and copy uh, yes and the reason I do that because I always like to keep a copy of my old music before um, um, I don't I, I just don't like the beats software to delete my music for me uh, once it copies it to the new directory or um, yeah once it because if you put it on move it will move the files and change the files I like to keep my old just until I'm satisfied with what I have in beats if I check you know once it's moved over uh, if if everything is satisfactory to me then I'll go ahead on and delete it out of here but for this exercise I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna just move it because uh, it's just a test and plus I want to save space because I'm on a virtual machine right now and I don't have much space in the uh, uh, root directory well not the root directory but the, the main directory um, it's not much not much space there left so uh, don't want to put too much there um, anyway so yeah I'm gonna uh, hit move and then that's all the options you need at this point um, I mean this is the base the base configuration file uh, right here um, so let's hit Control X let's save it yep good to go and uh, you don't have to restore the computer and nothing like that it's same window so you get to go uh, good to go and so we can start running the program. So it's beats. The first, I mean, the main import is beats. They have some options out there, but uh, I'll, like I said, I'll link the uh, the um, beats uh, beats website in the description below, so uh, you guys can check it out and uh, and make sure uh, and and see all the other options. But I'm gonna just do the base option, which is beats import. Uh, and then the directory. So the directory is let's see music, uh, new no old old music. So the music to I mean the directory to the old music uh, directory. <laughs> that was that sounded weird, huh? The directory to where your old music is located. Okay, uh, and then press enter. It'll go through. And now it's adding music over to my new folder and it's one thing about this thing uh, we'll wait till it stops because it's gonna it's gonna 
flick real quick. Uh, it doesn't take long to, to make the changes, uh, and I'll show you what um uh, what is what is doing once it completes. I'll wait until it completes. It's, it's only three albums, so it shouldn't take that long. Well, we're at a stopping point, so I'll show you what it does. Um, okay, so the similarity for the Tupacalypse Now album is Tupac Tupacalypse Now. It checked the Music Brain uh, database. Uh, it found the similarity for all the files, and uh, it only found a few discrepancies, like. Uh, it capitalized the A, O. Well, actually, it's a hundred percent. Everything is is correct, so it doesn't have to change anything. All right. So if we go down to the next one, uh, which is the Leah file, as you can see, it's a uh, ninety nine point nine percent similarity when it checked the uh, the Music Brain uh, database. Uh, it changed the. Uh, a few things in the in the actual uh, title, uh, like as you can see, uh, it changed the A to capital, the N to capital. It added the G to nothing, uh, but a, and then it capitalized the N. Okay, so it changed it from this to that, and then uh, then it checks all the files. Um, it uh, capitalized certain things or lowercase certain things based on the on the on the um, music brain. So the store meaning that's the old that's the way it is now currently. The one without the store is what it's changing it to. So just so you understand, like uh, these uh, brackets is changing it to parentheses. And it's removing this store from the end of it so that's what it's changing into all right and so this is what happens when it's uh the similarity is kind of like in a yellow category it's uh it's not 100 percent accurate or close to 100 i think it's like 95 percent once it goes like yellow or something like that um so it won't automatically do the changes for you if it's less than you know 95%, then it will ask you. So, um, as you can see, it's got some stuff that's a lot of stuff that's off. Most of it's in red. So it's uh, it wants to change all this stuff, and you have to tell it to change it. So um, it looks. I mean, it's. I'm pretty sure the Music Brain directory. I mean, uh, database is is probably the best. As far as the metadata, so I would trust it. So uh, it gives you the options. You press A to apply the changes, which all the changes, like I said, are in red. Uh, and then you can check and see, because sometimes it has uh, different versions of the metadata, metadata that you want to check to make sure it's uh, it's the right album. Like sometimes it'll be a slightly off on that on the album, but this one is 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 pretty pretty correct I mean it has the the right album name and the artist and all that so um, as long as you got the album and the artist correct it should be it should be fairly accurate when changing uh, the songs and modifying the songs so uh, it's, like I said it's more candidates skip use as is and then some other options um, and basically what you do is push the first letter of the option well depending on which one it is um, so I'm gonna just apply so I just type in a and press enter and it'll apply those changes and that was the last album so good to go so as you can see in the old music directory it's gone and then um, you can see the database is corrected I mean, it has been created, and also now our files are uh, organized. Um, not sure if you remember, but under the old music folder, it was just the albums, and it had the name and the album in the title. Well, by default, Beats creates a folder with the artists, 
and then it puts the album underneath it and it removes I don't know if you remember in the other folder but it had Tupac dash Tupacalypse Now and Tupac dash Me Against the World where it created the folder the top layer folder and just named it Tupac which that's what it is and then it lists all the albums underneath it I, I find that to be the best the best way of uh, organizing files you know artists albums and then songs underneath each album and then uh, here's the Aaliyah folder yeah it did the same, it did the same thing um, this was the main thing I remember out of the change it changed uh, brackets to parentheses as you can see brackets to the parentheses it's parentheses now um, so yeah that's pretty much it if you if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment down below I'll do my best to answer or point you in the right direction um, if you got any questions um, please look forward for my to my new videos um, I'll be coming out with more stuff pretty soon um, I know I took a little break uh, during Christmas but uh, I'm trying to get back into it uh, real heavy um, start trying to pump out videos like once uh, like twice a week at the at the least um, and uh, if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button um, and share with your friends uh, I'm trying to get build my channel up um, and thank you guys for checking it out and also keep it techie